In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the mind blown explosion effect that I used in my recent video, seven quick Final Cut Pro tricks that will blow your mind. I'm going to find the exact point where I want the explosion to happen and I'll make a cut in the clip. When you shoot the video, you'll need to shoot what is called a clean plate, which is basically a clean background without your subject in the frame. In this case, I quickly ducked out of the frame to get my clean background. I had autofocus turned on, so you'll see that the focus changes here. All I need to do is use my left and right arrow keys to find the frame where I am no longer in the shot. On that frame, I'll hit Shift H to create a hold frame and I'll extend it out and trim the beginning. I'll bring that clean plate under the main clip and trim it to the end using the shortcut Alt and the right square bracket. Next, I'll duplicate this clip by holding down Alt and dragging the clip on top of itself and I'll hit Ctrl Shift S to separate the audio which I can then delete. For now, I'll select the main clip and I'll hit V to hide it. Then I'll add a draw mask effect to the top clip and I'll cut out my head. You'll want to get as little of the background as possible, so try to do a neat mask. I'll close the mask and drop the feather a little bit. Let's disable this clip and enable the main clip and I'll add another draw mask effect and this time I'll cut out my head. I want this line to match pretty closely to the mask we did before, so I'll follow the same shape along my forehead, but once I get to the edge, I can go a little bit bigger around the rest of my head. I'll invert the mask and feather it a bit. You'll need to keyframe this mask as the head moves, so I can create a keyframe for these control points and move along frame by frame or a few frames at a time until I have keyframed the mask to match the movement of my head. You can see that we now have a chopped off head. Now we need to add an explosion. You can get one off sites like Storyblocks or Envato Elements. This explosion is from Envato Elements and they now do seven day free trials, which is pretty cool. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Envato, but it is a really useful resource. So you can grab an explosion clip from there. I'll link to this one down below and I'll trim the explosion to about here where I want it to start and I'll add the explosion on top and I'll set the blend mode to overlay. I'll add a draw mask effect here because I want this to look like the explosion is happening inside my head. So I'll feather the mask out to about 50 and then I'll draw a shape like this. I'll adjust these control points until none of the explosion is over my face and then I'll add a keyframe here. I'll move forward four or five frames and I'll adjust the mask to allow the explosion and the smoke to move over my face. I still want to see the explosion in the background, so I'll duplicate this explosion layer by holding down Alt and I'll drop it above the clean plate clip but below my body and head. I'll remove the mask effect and I'll set the blend mode to screen. I'll select the explosion clip and hit Ctrl V to show my keyframes and then I can trim this bottom explosion to that last keyframe on the mask. This is what we have so far. I'm sure at least one of them is going to blow your mind. Now I need to make the top of my head fly off. So there are two ways to do it. There's the easy way and the free way. I'll show you both. I use a plugin called Add Motion to animate things in Final Cut Pro. Basically, you can animate a clip from an A position to a B position, and there are a bunch of easing options for in and out that are super useful. This video is not sponsored by Add Motion, but it's a really handy plugin that I use daily, literally. Anyway, I did a whole video about it, which you can check out if you want to learn more about it. I'll link to that down below. I'll drop Add Motion onto the clip of just my head and I'll set the A position to zero so that it starts exactly where it is. And I'll move forward and set the B position to somewhere up here. I'll also adjust the rotation a bit. I'll change the duration to 0.75 to make it quicker. And I'll set the takeoff setting to linear because I want it to move fast. For the landing, I'll set that to elastic so that we have a bit of back and forth movement at the end. This is what the top of my head looks like with add motion applied. I'm sure at least one of them is going to blow your mind. I'll add a motion blur effect that also comes with add motion to this clip of my head and I'll also add an earthquake effect. I'll set the layers to one and the amount to zero. I'll make sure my playhead is at the beginning of the clip and then I'll create a keyframe. I'll move forward about five frames and then I'll set the amount to 50. This is what that looks like now. I'm sure at least one of them is going to blow your mind. It's super easy using add motion, but let's remove the two add motion effects and I can show you how to do it for free without the plugin. I'll go into the beginning of the clip and I'll set a keyframe for position and rotation. I'll move forward five frames and adjust the position and the rotation of this clip. I've left the earthquake effect on so the top of my head still shakes, but we don't have that elastic movement that add motion gives us. You can create that with extra keyframes by adjusting the position up and down over multiple keyframes, but it's not necessary. Lastly, we need to add an explosion sound effect to really make this work. 
You can find great sound effects on Envato Elements using that same seven day free trial. I'll slap an explosion in here and one more time, here is the final result. I'm sure at least one of them is going to blow your mind. And it's that easy. If you enjoyed this, you might also enjoy those seven mind-blowing Final Cut Pro tricks, so go ahead and watch that next.